Hi. Now, in this video, we're just going to look at part D, where we're told that a customer has been queuing for three minutes. And we've now got to find the probability that this customer will be queuing for at least seven minutes. Now, in order to do this, I've just given you the answer to part C, which we worked out in an earlier video. And that came to 14 over 27. That was the probability that a customer will queue for longer than three minutes. All right. So in order to do this, let's just put down what we're being asked. This is to work out then the probability that a customer queues for at least seven minutes. That's T's got to be greater than seven. But we're given that the customer's been queuing for three minutes. So we know that this is given that T is certainly greater than three. And so what we've got here is a conditional probability. Remember that when you've got conditional probability, it's the probability that the two events occur. Normally this is called A, this is called B. So this will be the probability of A intersection B. And it's all divided by the probability of B. So we're looking for the probability that both events occur. So if someone's got to wait more than three minutes and more than seven minutes, okay, then for both of those to be satisfied, it must be that they've waited longer than seven minutes, okay? It couldn't be like four minutes, greater than four minutes, because, okay, if they've waited more than four minutes, that's satisfied. T would be greater than three, but it certainly wouldn't be greater than seven. So I hope you get that, okay? This is going to be the probability that t is greater than 7. And it's divided by the probability of the given event. So that's the probability that t is greater than 3. Conditional probability then. Now we can work out the probability that t is greater than 7 just by doing 1 minus the probability of t being less than 7, okay? And probability of t being less than 7 can be seen from here. It's just going to be f of 7. And then this is divided by probability of t being greater than 3, which we worked out in C as being 1 minus f of 3, 1 minus the probability of being less than 3. And that came out to 14 over 27. So I might as well just write that in there, 14 over 27. So if you do 1 minus f of 7, that's 1 minus, and we substitute 7 into here, that's going to be 7 sixths minus 7 cubed, all divided by 1,458. And that is then divided by 20, uh, 14, I should say, over 27. That comes to 25 over 189. All right. Just in passing, though, you might be interested just to go back to this. To fully understand this, let's just go back to our probability density function sketch. We know that someone has waited at least three minutes. So that's given by the area essentially to the right of the three. So we're looking at that and we're told that what's the chances then that someone waits more than seven minutes. So if I was to put seven in here, what we're doing is comparing essentially this area with more than three. Okay, it's that proportion. How does waiting more than seven minutes compare with waiting more than three minutes. So it's that fraction compared to, well, it's this area compared to the whole area there is 25 over 189. Okay, that nine doesn't look very clear, so we'll just put that in like so. So I hope that's given you some understanding anyway of that question.